What is up guys, it is the John Yasm, aka your favorite YouTuber of all time, and coincidentally, the most handsome one that you're subscribed to. And probably the palest. I am back you guys, I have missed you so goddamn much. It's been, I want to say over a month now, which is absolutely crazy. So, first off, thank you for putting up with my hiatus from YouTube, and for, you know, not leaving me, because that... That would suck. I'm not exaggerating when I say I missed you guys a crap ton. Like, that's a lot for me to miss something that much. And uh, you guys managed to do it. So, yes, I'm back. And it's the holiday season. I'm home for Thanksgiving break. I'm actually leaving in a couple of hours to go back to school. Break is already over. I've been here like five, six days. Pretty much just spending time with family because it's nice to come home to your old house, to your old room. I miss, I miss this so much. I've missed Yoda. I've missed my Fight Club rules. Um, and I mean, the, the house is already decorated for Christmas. As you can see, I'm getting into the spirit a little bit more this year. I have a little Yoda ornament um, hanging by my bedside. I rub his head every night before I go to sleep and make a wish. So I am trying to get a little bit more into the spirit this year, but one thing I cannot find myself getting in the spirit for is Black Friday. I realized Black Friday was a couple of days ago, but I cannot fathom why people go so insane over this stupid holiday. And I want to know why what used to just be Black Friday, where everyone got their good deals and stuff was just kind of awesome, has now escalated so much just in the past couple of years that it takes over every day from Thanksgiving to Monday. It's ridiculous and honestly it kind of makes me a little bit pissed off that the day that everyone is supposed to be thankful for everything that they own and everything that is the God that God or Allah or Tom Cruise has blessed them with it with the, uh, during the past 365 days is immediately followed by mobs of people fighting each other to get a good deal on an espresso maker. I'm not saying that I don't get why people do it because I Black like Friday shop too, but I do it on the internet like a normal person or I should say like a sane person does because I'm not willing to get stabbed for to buy a cheap TV. It's really not worth it when you can sit at home in your pajamas, relax all day, which is the tradition in my household, and just order everything you want off of Amazon.com. I'm not sure if some people haven't discovered the internet or if it's their personal belief that they can definitely find a better deal in a store somewhere. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. I was having a conversation with someone last Black Friday and I was like, why don't you just stay home and be safe and be comfortable and get everything that you want just online and had saved so much time and effort. And their reasoning, which was complete bullshit if you ask me, excuse the language, is it that if you don't go out to go get your deals, then you aren't experiencing Black Friday. You don't get to experience the atmosphere, the environment. That was their reasoning. And that sounds like a miserable time. The one logical thing I can understand is that instead of ordering something, um, you, you go out and you get it that day and you don't have to wait like the three to five day shipping period for it to get to your house. But is it really worth it? Like, it, it's cool for me because I order, when I do Black Friday, I'm ordering stuff for Christmas. So that doesn't even really matter for me. And I know that's what a lot of people go out and Black Friday shop for. But I kind of like the waiting around for, to, when I order something, when, especially when I know it's going to come. Like when I order bodybuilding supplements or electronics or clothes or um, grenades and switchblades. I like the waiting period because it, just the anticipation rises, you know what I mean? And then that day you get it, you're like, oh, yeah, look at this, look at my new switchblade, fatink, uh, wah, wah, wah. And instead of having to use the switchblade immediately after you buy it to fend off somebody who is trying to buy that blender that you want oh so bad. Do you see how I brought like the two jokes together. I thought that was kind of clever. It's just ridiculous to me because I understand why everyone wants all these good deals and I want them too and that's why I do shop online but the timing for it is just ridiculous. Like I don't know if there could be a more 
perfect or stupid time to have a holiday like Black Friday right after Thanksgiving. But the thing is, it's not Black Friday. People don't look forward to Thanksgiving anymore because they get to eat with their family and they get to have a good meal. They stuff their faces and gain 40 pounds in an evening. They look forward to Thanksgiving because immediately after it, they get to go out and shop with their friends and buy things that they really don't need. And it's ridiculous because now it's not just Black Friday. It starts on the evening of Thanksgiving. It's, it's gray Thursday, I think I heard someone on the news call it, and then it's Black Friday, then Small Business Saturday, and then something Sunday. I think it might just be Chillax Sunday. And then there's Cyber Monday. Really? Really? We have to take up four, of a, four days of a five-day weekend fighting each other for good deals. I just feel like I'm the member of a small group that actually enjoys Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving. Especially with this being my first Thanksgiving coming back from college, I was excited to see my family, my friends, to hang out all day and catch up and to eat a whole lot of food. Like that was awesome for me. That whole day was great. And not once did I think, oh my God, I can't wait for this to be over so I can go out and meet up with uh, Sally Stroganoff and go to Hollister and find all these great deals. Like, and people make jokes about it all the time, but you have to really think about how much it sucks for those people who work on Black Friday. I'm actually going to put a link in the description below to a compilation of psychopathic Black Friday videos that you guys can watch because watching something like that, people fight so much for material possessions that don't matter in the long run, just it's actually kind of depressing. But on a lighter note, my Black Friday shopping was awesome. I got like five or six video games over 50% off. I got even some clothes. I didn't pay for one article of clothing that was above 50% of its retail price. I got movies. I think I did actually buy a Switchblade, so that's pretty sweet. And do you know how exhausting it was for me? Not at all. I didn't even break a sweat. I've been sweating more since this video started than I did on Black Friday. That's because that light is ridiculously hot. Now for some real quick updates that I'm going to start doing at the end of my videos if I have any updates because in the beginning when I do them people are always like, get to the talking! And I'm all like, no! But I realize I probably should. So from now on, in the rest of my videos, updates are reserved for the end. That itself is also an update update section. Second update for the people who have been asking where I've been for the past month or so. I've been at school and I've been working my booty pipe off trying to get good grades because let me tell you something, my high school was a joke. I learned no study skills there. I didn't even try in my last semester and I got straight A's. I had bad senioritis and did not try. College has been kind of a kick in the ass for me, a little bit of a reality check you know, a little smack right here that's like, hey man, you're not as smart as you thought you were. Your high school was just dumb and easy. However, in two weeks the semester will be over and uh, Christmas break is going to start. It's about a month long before I have to go back to school, so at least for that month I will be making two to three videos a week, which will contain my rant series, my conspiracy th uh, theory series, my challenge accepted series, Ask the John Gasm, and I will be doing weekly workout videos not included in that uh, tally count. It'll either be two videos a week and a workout video or three videos a week and a workout video. To the people who've been asking where the workout videos are, unfortunately at school I lift alone so there is nobody um, really there to be my cameraman. Um, I'm going to try to work something out for next semester. Um, being that I don't want to just suddenly stop the workout videos. However, I'm not sure how guaranteed lifting videos are when I go back to school. Also, on top of that, I can't have my car on campus as a freshman, so unfortunately, I can't even go out and buy membership to a gym to have somebody record the workouts either. But, you will be seeing workouts um, in two weeks for at least the next month. We'll see how that series does, and um, you guys can tell me if you like it or not. And that's basically it. Honestly, recording this video felt awesome. It felt great to be in my old room. It felt great to be talking to the camera. And I'm honestly even kind of excited for my least favorite part of the video, which is editing it. I'm really excited, and I'm, it's so great to be able to see you guys again. I will be back very soon. I'm going to try to upload a video. Um, 
dur when, during these next two weeks when I go back to school. But like I said, it's these next two weeks are going to be kind of packed for me because it's finals and it's the end of the semester with projects and such. But I will do my best because I don't want to let you guys down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for passing this on. And thank you for sticking around. I love you all and stay fresh. Thank you.